What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fallout 4. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a tip slash trick video for you and it all has to do with the manufacturing overhaul mod and more specifically the recycler that you get with this mod. So if you haven't noticed or if you didn't know, in the PC version of this mod the recycler gets any kind of piece of junk, anything it gets into its you know, hub, it breaks it down to all of its components and shoots all of its components out. So right over here, you can see we got our recycler set up. The limitation on console is you need to set this recycler to shit, uh, to shit, <laughs> to spit out only one type of material. So right now I have it set to spit out wood. So what happens is if you have anything that contains wood in it, goes into the recycler, it breaks it down to its components, sends the wood out, but then all of the other components get stored inside this recycler. What I'm trying to do is find out a way or find the best way to extract that material so that way you know you don't only get wood coming out of this you can get all of the rest of the wood or all the rest of the material to come out as well so I'm gonna start this little contraption up that I've got here and I think it works pretty well you know you can uh, really expand on this to get a full plant going which I plan on doing and hopefully making a video on that in the near future but before I start I will show you in this hopper I have loaded up a bunch of junk most of it containing some wood so we can see how this works uh, but I will explain how this whole thing works as I you know power this up and you see it going so we hit power on this switch the main thing turns on hopper turns on starts spitting out material and then the recycler starts as well so as you can see it's already starting to spit out wood now what I have set up here is this vacuum hopper will not turn on until we stop getting materials to transfer along this conveyor belt. The reason being, if I had these items going right into the recycler and I had this vacuum hopper up and running, it's going to immediately take everything out and the recycler is not going to be able to break down the items. It's just going to just pop right out in this vacuum hopper. So the way I do that is actually with the, a delayed on switch and then these little trigger switches on the conveyor belt. I also have one up front. So I hooked the main power up, so now we're going to see right here. We're going to have about 10 seconds is going to go by, and then this delayed on switch should power on. Any second now. Any second. There it goes. So now this conveyor belt turns on, and it's going to start extracting everything that was, you know, either did not contain wood or even all of the other materials. Now the way I get this to work is I have... Um, so the main power, you can see it's up uh, where my cursor is, right up there. That delivers power to this trigger and also to the trigger in the front. Now, those triggers then go to this XOR switch. So the way that this, or XOR logic gate, so the way that this logic gate works is it will only transmit power if one item or if one input is transmitting power. So I have three inputs going there two of which are from these triggers on the conveyor belt. Now the third one is actually just main power, so there's constantly power going here. So the way that this works for me, uh, it's gonna be a little difficult to explain, but I'm gonna do my best. So there's constantly one um, power you know, going in from this main switch. Now again, this will then transmit power down to this delayed switch. So essentially, I now have 10 seconds until this delayed switch will power on and it's going to power on this vacuum hopper. Now like I said before, I don't want this vacuum hopper to power on until I know the recycler is done, it's gotten rid of all the wood and there's no more material coming in. That's where these trigger switches come in handy. So in the front, when you have an item come in, it hits that trigger switch. Since that trigger switch is now applying power to the logic gate up top, the logic gate is actually going to turn off because it now has two items or two inputs giving power. So since the way that this logic gate works is it only transmits power if one input has power, it then essentially resets this 10 second timer. And it works the same way on the back. So I'm guaranteed at least 10 seconds needs to go by uh, with either no material coming in the front or no material going in the back. That's definitely enough time to show that this um, recycler is not working anymore. And at that point, we could start pulling the other materials out. Now, as soon as, you know, if we had this part of a huge system or anything, and all of a sudden, you know, maybe after 30 seconds, some more material was going to go in, it's going to hit this trigger and it's going to reset that 10 second timer, which turns this conveyor belt system off. So it's a little confusing, but 
I think you guys got the gist. If you do have any questions, make sure you put them in the comment section down below. And like I said, you can really expand on this. Right now I just have this one hooked up to do wood, but you can get a couple of these in a row, maybe with the more common materials like wood, steel, circuitry, plastic. If you have all of those you know, in a row and you're sorting the materials properly, like I said, I do plan on building something like this in the future and I will definitely post a video on that. You could break down a lot of your materials or a lot of your junk pretty quickly and frankly, for me, I really enjoy making these types of things. So. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, I hope it was helpful if you're looking into trying to do something like this. Like I said, any questions or something didn't make sense, please let me know, comments down below, and hit that like button if you found this interesting and you want to give it a try yourself. I'm really having a good time with all these mods and it's amazing to see what new stuff's coming out each week. But like I said, I wanted to revisit this manufacturing overhaul mod because there's a lot to it and there's a lot I want to try with it, so expect to see a couple more tip uh, I guess I'll call it tip or trick videos like this one. So, thanks for watching. Porter Gage is here. He's getting ready to do something behind me. Who knows? But uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Like I said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.